Karibu sana to Kenya's biggest conversation. Thank you. Honorable Catherine Burrow, Principal Magistrate. And as we talk about bail and bond this morning, these are words that fly out at us all the time. Somebody has been granted bail. Somebody has been uh, given uh, bond, has been released on bond. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the processes through which all of this happens, I guess, is what we'll be unpacking today here in the Situation Room's hot seat mm -hmm. this morning. So the questions that come flying, you now know how we will uh -huh. discuss those. <laughs> sure. Now, so let's start off from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, bail, bond, sometimes used interchangeably, yes. but sometimes in error. Mm -hmm. Could you explain those two for us? Now, let's start from this point. You go into a supermarket. Mm. We, we, we are done with today's business. Mm. And then I tell you, um, I need to do some shopping. My house girl has sent me a list of what we should buy. Mm -hmm. Some items are depleted in the house. So we go to the supermarket. I ask you, and do you like a supermarket? So we go. Mm. Um, pick a few items, put them in the basket. Then I get to the counter. And then I realize I have a shortage of 10,000. Okay. So my budget was 15,000. Mm. Unfortunately... I do not want to go into the other details, but unfortunately, things have changed. Mm. So I need to top up 10,000 more in order to, to pay, pay for my shopping. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I tell you, Ndu, uh, so you bail me out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you tell me, okay, uh, let me check my Mpesa. I have 10K. So I can give you 10K. Mm. On condition that you refund this money within two weeks, for example, mm -hmm. because I was to use this money for something else. For something else. else. Okay. So you bail me out, but you will have to refund the money. Mm -hmm. So in essence, when you talk about bail, it means you come to court, for example, you've been charged with a, with a criminal offense, um, you are arraigned in court, to secure your release, because the primary consideration for granting of bail and bond is to ensure that the accused person attends court. That is a primary consideration. Okay. So for him to attend court, he has to deposit bail mm -hmm. in form of money. Money. Okay. That is the starting point. Mm -hmm. At the police station, when he is arrested, the police also have powers to also grant cash bail mm -hmm. before he is arraigned in court. Yeah. There is this 24-hour rule. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know about it. Yes. So somebody has to be arraigned in court within 24 hours after having been arrested so if that is not possible then the police have the powers to grant you cash bill mm -hmm. with the promise that you will attend court on a certain date that you have been told that you will attend mm. so that is bail then now we go to bond mm. so city has uh, decided i'm going to you know do some development somewhere mm -hmm. i do not have enough money Mm. So I approach a financial institution, mm. for example, a SACO. Mm. <laughs> uh, I need 2.5 million Kenya shillings. Mm. So city decides uh, I need to put, top up about 1.5 uh, million Kenya shillings for this development uh, to go through. So what do you do? You go to a SACO or a bank. And then they tell you, we will give you this money, okay. but there has to be security mm. because this is a risk that the bank is taking. So there has to be security for us to ensure that you will be able to repay this amount of money that we are giving you. Mm. So one of the securities you, you'll, you'll be asked is if you have a guarantor, for example, mm. or maybe you have another property that you will deposit your title deed as security, for example, mm. so that now you secure this amount of money. So an accused person has been brought to court arraigned in court for a certain uh, offense mm. he pleads not guilty yeah so the full process the court process has to go on but he has to secure his release so he has to bind himself that come during the hearing date of 20th of may 2023 mm. i will attend court now for me to attend court i will deposit uh, i will get a surety a mm. person we call a surety mm -hmm. to stand in for you. So it is an agreement between the court, the accused person, and this person we call a surety who is standing in on your behalf. A human. A human. Okay. Binding himself mm -hmm. that he will ensure city attends court on 20th of May, mm -hmm. 2023. Okay. So city will look for a surety, somebody to stand in for 
for him mm-hmm. so he comes to do mm-hmm. uh do uh, i don't have money i've been given a cash bill of 20000 in the alternative a bond of 50000 for example mm-hmm. so i do not have ready cash with me but do, do, do you have some document you can use for me to release i mean for me to secure mm-hmm. uh, my liberty yeah. so ah, by the way i have some property somewhere or i have a car logbook mm. or a motorcycle mm. logbook i'm i'm employed pay slip mm-hmm. i'm a member of a circle uh, share Shares. certificate mm. which amounts to 50000 kenya shillings mm. so who comes to court and says i will ensure that city attends court, court on the 20th that yeah. on the 20th of may yeah. 2023 that is my obligation if if city fails to attend court on 20th of may 2023 mm. then a warrant of arrest will be issued against me the accused person for example mm-hmm. because i have failed to attend court okay. now remember the primary consideration for somebody to be released on a bond or cash bail is to secure the attendance in court okay so this person so um uh, i decide i will not attend court for whatever reason we'll get into that as we move along mm. so a warrant is issued mm-hmm. so the investigating officer will come looking for mm-hmm. to, <coughs> to tell the court where is city because you bound yourself mm. to ensure that city i mean uh, do do i mean a city mm-hmm. bound himself to ensure that do attends court okay so city where is ndu i have no idea no no ndu so, okay wait wait wait, wait. Uh, do you want to calmly just go to jail on my behalf <laughs> <laughs> not this time maybe another time so here we are mm-hmm. city should have gone to court on the 20th of may let's unpack this thing properly mm-hmm. you did, didn't have the money the cash the, the cash. cash yes right yes didn't have the cash uh-huh. that would have been bail yes essentially um and so they say okay get somebody who can stand surety for you uh-huh. ndu comes along as surety but ndu must also put down something that binds the surety yes okay yes okay so far and it could be does the court decide the value they say give us something worth this amount or how does that happen this because now that is bond mm-hmm. i've bound my surety to property or something value worth what mm-hmm. do you decide does the court decide rather how much value this thing must have before we even go to now this guy doesn't show up mm-hmm. and then what happens thereafter so assuming i'm the accused person mm. i take plea mm. for an offense of stealing mm. Uh first of all all offenses are bailable. All all offenses. Banan. Yote. Okay. It's good. The Constitution of Kenya mm. 2010. Pre mm-hmm. 2010 mm. <laughs> that was a different story altogether mm. because there were categories of offenses which were not bailable at all the capital offenses. Yes yes. Um treason murder mm. robbery with violence attempted robbery with violence mm. that one you didn't even need you you just have to wait until the trial is complete mm. unfortunately if the court finds you're innocent <laughs> <laughs> you know you you've been in custody all this, all this time. time so come 2020 2010 we decide uh uh-uh, things have to change so all offenses are bailable, bailable. let's start, that's the starting point okay so you should not be denying your liberty because you have committed an offense of murder mm. for example So I've been arraigned in court for an offense of stealing. So the court grants me a cash bail of 20,000 mm-hmm. in the alternative a bond of 50,000. Okay. So this property should be worth 50,000. Okay. Your pay slip should be worth 50,000. Mm-hmm. If you've committed your pay slip for example, mm-hmm. like some of us do for survival mm-hmm. um <laughs> that's, that's a different story that's but that's okay. a different story altogether <laughs> so if you've committed your pay slip mm-hmm. then the circle will have to write to the court yeah. confirming that one i am a member of this circle yeah two my shares are worth this amount of money so that if I decide as an accused person to abscond or fail to attend to court. Mm. 
then um, we will get to the point where what are the consequences for not attending court. Mm -hmm. One of it is I risk my salary being attached mm -hmm. in fulfillment of the bond that was given. I hope I've not lost anyone there. <laughs> well, okay, we'll try and find us in a minute. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Can bond and bail be asked of simultaneously? When I say all offenses are bailable, yeah. initially pre-2020, you had to apply to be given bond. Mm -hmm. So now it is automatic. You don't have to apply. It is automatic. Mm. So you take plea, uh, you are charged with an offense of stealing, for example, automatically you are granted bond mm. or bail. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So from there, then now you have now to start looking for ways of securing your release. Mm. There are instances where you may say, I may raise my hand as an accused person and say, I cannot afford 10,000 Kenya shillings. I can only afford 5,000 Kenya shillings. So the court will grant you 5,000 Kenya shillings. That which you are able to raise mm. okay that is the beauty of the 2010 constitution a wide ch chapter four of the constitution of kenya 2010 mm. bill of rights mm. you know so a wide range of uh, rights which have been which have been placed under the constitution right so that now even the judiciary is opening its doors how much can you afford afford now can i not stand surety for myself no you cannot why not because now, how will you ensure that you attend court? We need somebody to ensure that you attend court. Just the same way, if you go to a bank and take a loan, <laughs> there has to be a guarantor. All right. So you're saying that my own recognizance doesn't apply. They have, uh, now, we'll, we, we'll get to the point where there is a uh, police cash bail, mm -hmm. uh, bail pending trial, that mm -hmm. is a bail or bond given by the court, mm -hmm. and then bail pending appeal mm. and then there is a personal bond or the free bond mm. i don't know that you've come across that one yes mm. free bond i mm. have even received it so that's how come i know it oh yes mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, Louis is wondering uh, I'm uh, I'm <laughs> i am i'm take him for a cup of tea later <laughs> to explain <laughs> how you got to the free bond <laughs> issue eh? <laughs> so you may have committed an offense for example i was over speeding over speeding that's mm -hmm. a that's a minor offense that's a traffic offense mm -hmm. oh, okay. so basically we should not even incarcerate you in a police cell. Mm. Uh, free bond appear in court the following day mm. <coughs> so there is somewhere you have to sign mm. that you will bind yourself that mm. you will attend court that's free bond okay in other instances you uh, the court may require there is a form you have to sign mm. for other serious offenses this is a traffic offense minor ones for other serious offenses there's a form you have to sign yeah and then, apart from now signing that form, eh, um, the area chief will write a letter mm. uh, confirming that you're a resident of Spice FM estate, for example. Yeah. So that now, in the event that city decides to abscond, then we can request the chief try assist us in tracing Him. this person. Okay. Okay. So for minor offenses like those traffic offenses, free bond applies. Okay. For minor offenses, who's maximum sentence is six months mm. that's where uh, free bond comes in right. by creating disturbance to metu kanana Surely. for example so if this is automatic if we're saying that all offenses are bailable why then do we see that there are uh, sessions in court whereby it is to be determined uh -huh. whether an individual will get bail or not uh -huh. if you are allowed to be bailed out of a situation no, why this, then do we see that happening there are instances where information may be relayed to court by the prosecution that there are circumstances which do not allow this accused person to be released mm -hmm. on bond so for example somebody has committed the offense of murder, murder. Just, just a wide example mm -hmm. the public out there is agitated and they have issued statements, for example, if this person gets out, you know what will happen. Mm. So the safety of the accused person is paramount. That information has to come to the court through the probation officer, mm. through what we call a bail information report. So a report has to be tabled before court. Mm. Now that is when now the bail hearing comes into play. Because now the prosecution says um, this person should not be released. On the other hand, all offenses are 
uh, available. But now we have to determine whether or not the information being given to court is indeed authentic or not. So the bail information report comes into play. Mm -hmm. Now the probation officer now will go to the ground and gather all that information, okay. which now will inform the court whether the accused person should be released or not for his safety, for example. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now, I mean, I would, I would like to, to, to look at a lot of the offenses that we see that for some reason or another individuals are not able to make bail and that means them being in remand for longer periods of time mm -hmm. and the situation around that and how that is being sorted out but now as we look at bail and bond when we hear that then individuals have skipped bail or then have um Jumped, jumped absconded, bail, absconded yes. bail. Yes. What exactly does that mean? And then what are the repercussions? And what do we see happening in the system because of that? So we told City, okay. attend court on 20th of May <laughs> 2023. Okay. So City has jumped. Mm. That is the street word we use. Mm. But the legal term is absconding. absconding yeah. So City has absconded. Let's assume, for example, he deposited bond. Mm. So, do you stood for him? Mm. You deposited your title deed, for example, mm -hmm. binding yourself that you will ensure city attends That's court. Right. Yeah. The consequences are one, you can be placed in custody, remanded, because you have failed to produce city in court. That is one. Two, you risk losing your land, mm. which can be sold to fulfill the bond of 50,000 Kenya shillings that the court gave. Mm -hmm. Now, the other, the other third uh, repercussion is you'll be told now, raise the 50,000. Mm. Initially, when, when City was taking plea, he was given a cash bill of 25,000 mm. in the alternative of bond of 50. 50. He was unable to raise 25, mm. so he got a bond. Mm. So you'll be told now, one of those three consequences, you will suffer. But before we slap you with those consequences, we'll give you time to look for, for city. city. Okay. So on 20th of May 2023, City has failed to attend court for whatever reason. A warrant is issued. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be issued with summons to attend court to tell us where City is. is. Because when you are being admitted as a surety, they, they, it's, it's sort of like a mini hearing. Yeah. You'll be taken through. Do you understand your obligations? We need to get your details, where you live. Um, are there any surrounding, um, uh, what do we call them? Sort of like um, landmarks. Landmarks. landmarks, installations, yeah. where we can easily trace where mm. your home is. Mm. Now, when you're binding yourself, you have to make sure that you are on toes on what city is doing, where he is, whatever he's doing. It's, it's, it's not just an easy obligation. Yeah. So you have to know what you're putting yourself into. into. Okay. So he fails to attend court on 20th. A warrant is issued. We give a mention of probably in two weeks' time. Let's say uh, 2nd of June, mm. uh, 2023. So on 2nd of June, we have issued you with summons. You come to court and tell us, Your Honor, kindly give me time to look for city. Mm -hmm. I, I, all, I know, all I knew is he was going to attend court on 20th. Yes. And we even spoke that morning, for example. How he failed to attend, I don't know. I pray that I look for, I be given time to, to look, look for, for him. For him, So the warrant is extended. So we ask you, how much time do you need? Maybe I need a month. We say, fine, we'll mention the matter after a month. So in a month's time, who comes and tells the court, I have managed to trace where a city is. Mm -hmm. He actually relocated to Machakos. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, 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 need, I need more time to, to find him, to find him, to mm. go and get him. Remember now you are utilizing your own resources to look for, for city. city. That is the obligation you bound yourself. Mm. So finally you managed to get city in Machakos. The investigating officer is also involved because there is a warrant he has to execute. So city is arrested by officers from Machakos police station brought to Spice FM uh, police, police station, station arraigned before Spice FM uh, law courts. So city, tell us where you are on 20th. Yes. Mm. You don't give a justified reason, bond is cancelled. Why? Because the primary consideration for granting bond mm. or bail is to ensure you attend court. You attend court.
Now, is there a situation in which somebody can be in court and they absolutely cannot afford any amount? Mm -hmm. What then happens? It actually happens because the accused person will say, I cannot afford this amount of money. Now, we've seen situations whereby some of my colleagues will marshal some officers, some mini harambe. I don't know that you followed. There's a colleague of mine in Mombasa. Yes. A, yes. Yeah, mini harambe to yes. raise yes, some I, amount I, of I money. Have, I have mm. seen that. Mm -hmm. I've read about it. Yes. Yeah. In other instances, free bond is the, what I call the cheapest, for lack of a better word. Because there is no money involved. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just to fill a form. Mm -hmm. The way you, you know, <laughs> you, <laughs> you fill a form <laughs> and you secure your release. Mm -hmm. There are instances where, fine, you've uh, been charged on 20th. I mean, today. Mm -hmm. um, today is 17th. Eh? 18th. 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 Yes. yes. And we tell you, mm -hmm. I look at my diary. My diary looks okay. Um, you've denied the charge. So come back to court for hearing on 20th of May 2023. So on 20th of May 2023, I had given you a cash bill of 15,000 Kenya shillings. Then you tell the court, I am not able to raise the 15, I'm still in custody. I'm not able to raise the 15,000 Kenya shillings. I can only afford 10,000. So we'll give you the 10,000. I can even ask you as a court, how much can you raise? Mm. Now, before you even come to on 20th of May for the hearing, after every two weeks, we have what we call poli I mean, uh, prison mentions, mm. just to check the welfare of the remandees in prison. Okay. So at that point, an accused a remandee will say, I've not been able to raise the, um, the bond terms that were given mm. by the court when I took plea. The first time I was arraigned in, in court. court. The accused person can raise that issue. The court on its own motion, suomotu, legally. That's a legal term. So the court can, can, can look at the number of remandees who are in prison. We've had this case uh, for the last maybe four or five months. The accused person is still in custody, has not been able to secure his release. So I, on my own volition, I don't need to be approached by the accused person. I'll say, uh, uh, reduce from 15,000 to 5,000. Okay. So one, mm. the accused can request. Mm -hmm. Two, the court on its own motion can also reduce the bail terms is it possible um, and look <laughs> because we we've we've seen cases we we know about a packed system today where you have lots of people on remand and we've heard also from um officers within the from the judiciary who've told us they also know that a lot of people who are on remand today is not for anything but they've not been able to make their bail uh -huh. people who've not been able to make bail of 10,000 5,000 2,000 shillings so as you're saying that a judicial officer would then be able to look at something and say it is clear I mean we're human beings uh -huh. you're a judicial officer okay. yes but you're also a human being so you can see this person is not going to be able to make this what then guides a decision to say let this person continue to be remanded when it is clear they cannot make it a woman who was taking garbage to a garbage dump, not just anywhere. Mm -hmm. There was a garbage dump. Mm -hmm. She dumped the garbage there. Mm -hmm. She was arrested for littering. The bail, they, this is somebody who doesn't have 500 shillings to her name, mm -hmm. was given a bail of 20,000 shillings, was not able to make it, was remanded. My question simply is, mm -hmm. do, does that side of, it is clear, does that come into then the decisions that are being made as to whether to let this person go on their own recognizance, let this person um, get a free bond instead? How do those decisions then, how are those decisions then made to also ease the burden on an already packed system where people are being remanded for lack of bail? Mm. Uh, we are also guided by the reports which are brought forth by the probation officers, mm. the bail information report, because they will go to the ground and analyze the situation. They do what we call a social inquiry. This How do you ascertain that, that they actually do that? That's the story. For another day. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Because, you know, those, the, the integrity of those reports, you know, sometimes they are challenged. But that's a story for another day. Mm. Mm. But because we are not able now to go to you and check where your family is as a court, as mm. a judicial officer, mm. I cannot go to your home and check the situation on the ground. That is why we have the probation and aftercare department. Mm. 
So they bring a bail information report and tell us um, this is the situation on the ground. But what we have also been uh, telling the citizens, Article 159, there are other ways of resolving disputes. Mm. So assuming I've stolen your phone, today I'm here. Mm. I came in, I went through some security check. I came in, um, I have my phone, Samsung. I don't know what type of your phone is. Nokia. Nokia, mm hmm You still have Nokia? One. <laughs> they still sell, no, the question is, do they still sell them? Do they <laughs> still sell Nokia? This is the one answer, of those the, situations. The answer, yes. You're one of the few people who have Nokia. It appears so. Oh, mm. you're special in this country. <laughs> it's like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what make is your Nokia? I'm not certain. It's a five, I have two of them. Actually, I have three of them. Oh, oh you are special. <laughs> yes, there's a 5.3, there's a 2.4, there's one 3. Point something, I think. Let's stick with 5.3. Yes. So I come in here, I do whatever I'm supposed to do, and then I, 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 I leave. So as I'm leaving, I see your phone on the table, I decide, mm-hmm. Nice. Three? Nice, very nice phone. Mm. If I sell it, it can fetch some good amount of money. Mm. Because I've been struggling at home, not able to raise fees, for example. Mm. So, shui, take city's uh, phone. <laughs> As I'm leaving, city raises an alarm. My phone is missing. So in this building, the only stranger who has accessed this building is Catherine. Mm. So as I'm exiting, then I'm told, uh -uh, we have to search you. search you. So in my handbag, there is a Nokia 5.3. Okay? Mm. So now city is agitated. Why do you steal my phone? No, 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 no. So I decide take me to Spice FM police station. Mm. So at the police station now, we can try and negotiate, uh, but the phone has been recovered. Mm. I can, you know, compensate you, mm. A, B, C, D. So there are various ways of resolving disputes before they get to court. court. Okay? Bottom line, the phone has been recovered. recovered. And then now you ponder, uh, fine, the phone has been recovered. Um, well, I'll forgive you for now. And then now when they check the system, I do not have a criminal record. Okay, we can forgive you for now. And then you go your way. Other instances where somebody has still been arraigned in court, taken plea. But during the trial process, the complainant, who is city, and the accused person, who is Catherine, along the way as a, tr as a, as a trial is ongoing, we can decide to settle it out of court. Out of court. And the case is with the drone. Okay. Okay. So apart from litigation... They are alternate. They are yes. alternative means. Okay. Something I've always found puzzling, and I'd like to understand, the logic behind what one hears, there's a mention, there's a hearing, there's a date. Are there not instances where somebody can appear in court and you listen, you realize, but we can discuss and finish this thing in the next 10 minutes? Uh -huh. It has happened. Mm. How often does that happen? It has happened. I've done it so many times. My mm. colleagues have done it so many times, especially where you're dealing with families. Or even neighbors. Mm. Trespass, for example. <laughs> We've been neighbors for 50 years. Mm. So your cow has trespassed into my farm. My farm. And it has destroyed uh, sugar, cane. sugar cane or maize or whatever. So do we really need to go through the criminal justice, justice system? system? Not forgetting an offense has been committed. committed. Okay? But then we have lived peacefully for 50 years. Why should this small incident, you know, um, interfere with our relationship, our neighborhood, you get. Mm. So fine, uh, I'll be arraigned in court because my cow did whatever I did to your farm. Then, um, as, as the case is ongoing, then as, 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 you're, as you're testifying as a complainant, you realize, that the court will realize, city, I mean, uh, do as, as, as a magistrate, realize, these people have been living together because now you're giving your evidence mm. and in the line of your testimony, we have lived together for 50 years. We've been neighbors for 50 years. Then say, then, then do says, pause. 50 years? Uh-huh. So your cow, my, my cow has gone into your farm. Do we, there's you a way we can this. still salvage. So why don't you take 30 minutes out there mm. and see whether Catherine can compensate City, City his sugar king. the sugar king. So after 30 minutes, you come, your honor, we have agreed, we have settled, he has paid. Whatever amount we have a green case with the drone. And it can be done. It can be done. Very easy. Okay. There's another issue that's quite um, um, 
uh, it's, it happens quite often. And the question is that um, why do traffic police tell an overspeeding driver or any driver with a traffic offence, say expired insurance cover, that they will issue you with a cash bond for 10,000 shillings to attend court? At what point does a driver insist on the free bond in such a circumstance? Just like what happened to you? Mm. You were overspeeding. I was overspeeding. Mm -hmm. So now you are given a personal bond. Yes. So you may say, I'm not able to raise the 10,000. So but the, this the is officer that... says, look, you were overspeeding or whatever offense. Your insurance has expired. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. cool. Say, um, this is a problem. Uh -huh. Now, you must attend court. Uh -huh. Now, for me to ensure that you will attend court, uh -huh. it's going to be 10,000 shillings. Uh -huh. Write it on the piece of paper. You must attend court. You pay the 10. Now, do you pay the 10,000 on the spot? They give it to you, attend court wherever. Uh -huh. Now, why do they do that, number one? Number two, <laughs> can I then now say, actually, I don't have that money. Can I fill the form for your free bond? Yes, you can say I do not have the money because it's a simple traffic offense. So just, uh, just let me sign this form and then on 20th of May 2023, I will appear in court and, you know, the charges are read before me and I say whether I'm guilty or not, I admit. Now, on the other hand, I can say I cannot afford that amount of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Assuming I, 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 I can afford 10,000 10, Kenya shillings, so I pay the 10,000 Kenya shillings police cash bill, mm -hmm. bail pending trial, that is a bail or bond given by the court, and then bail pending appeal, mm. those three. Mm -hmm. So the police, under the National Police Service Act, they are empowered to issue or to give police cash bill. Mm -hmm. The law allows them to do that. Mm -hmm. So they look at the situation. So a minor traffic offense, uh, city, uh, personal bond, go to court on 20th of May, 2023, read out the charges. You can even send someone, as you were saying, mm -hmm. early on when we went on break, you can even send someone. An advo advocate can appear on your behalf, mm -hmm. take plea, uh, that is allowed. So instances where you may not have money, free bond. Mm -hmm. If you have the money. Now, once you are arraigned in court, mm -hmm. your license has expired, for example or oh, you're overspeeding. Mm -hmm. Then you say, fine, I, I was not overspeeding. I was not doing 110, I was doing 80. Mm -hmm. You've already denied the charges. Mm -hmm. So the trial process uh, has, has to go on. Now remember, to secure your liberty, you had deposited a police cash bill of 10,000. 10, now that 10,000 is supposed to be refunded to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope you are clear up to there. Yes. So when, when the charge sheet is drafted, that information is contained on the charge sheet out on police cash bill of 10,000 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. Now, me as a court, when I look at the charge sheet, it has been approved by the ODPP. The charges are read before you. And then I see, ah, this one had deposited a cash bill of 10,000 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. And she has actually come to court. Now, as you're being refunded that police cash bill of 10,000 Kenya shillings, we, I, the court can even say, no, that 10,000 Kenya shillings you had given to the police, mm. that can also serve as the cash bill you're being given by the court. Okay. So within minutes, you secure your release. 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 Because now you don't have, again, to go back to the pocket to look for more money. Mm. You already have been refunded this 10,000. So it's like from the police... To the court. So essentially, the money doesn't leave the system. Mm. It will leave the system once the case has been concluded. It will be refunded to you, to you. whichever way it is concluded. Whether we have settled the case out there, 30 minutes we were given by the court, mm -hmm. we settled it out, the case has been withdrawn. Now the cash bill will be refunded to the person who deposited. I'd really like to know, how is it refunded? Do they give you the cash or do they write you a check? We operate a cashless send, system. Do they send you m -Pesa? What do they do? <laughs> A cashless system. Nowadays, we don't accept money. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a pay bill. Um, what you do is you fill a form mm -hmm. where the money is sent to your account. Mm -hmm. So once the case is concluded within seven days, once the case is concluded, uh, there is an order that has been issued by the court. Um, cash bill to be refunded to the person who deposited. Now that order, that file, is taken to the accountant. The accountant now. Um, now starts the process. Within seven days, now you are called, fill the form. Within seven days, your money is deposited. I mean, is uh, how do I pay you then? Who? Who? 
how do I pay the courts if they want a cash bill? Oh, you can to deposit. How do, do I deposit? You said it's cash. Yes. Mm -hmm. ask, do you have a pay bill number? Mm -hmm. M Pesa agent, uh, they're called what KCB Mtani. Mm -hmm. You can go to the bank and then um, the whole transaction is done. But we don't accept cash okay. at the court. Why don't you people have a pay bill number? That is work in progress. Mm -hmm. um, there, it had started somewhere and then. Uh, Something happened. Something happened. Okay. I don't want to go into details. <laughs> <laughs> but that is work in progress. But each court, each court station has a case beam turn. Mm. There's a okay. booth. Mm. Okay. Something that always concerns me with this matter of bail, bond, and the term remand. Mm -hmm. um, we have a very famous remand institution here in Nairobi where people languish for very long. Mm -hmm. So we hear. And we also hear that many of these people are what we refer to as petty offenders. Mm -hmm. Does the court system have a review process where they look through these cases? And you mentioned it in passing, mm -hmm. where it is clear that this person will never have the money because some of them were caught for loitering. Mm -hmm. Some were caught for whatever offenses that one can, or can you know, can cause. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or now, is there a process that looks at these things and determines that perhaps we have incarcerated people and they are occupying space that they need not occupy, mm -hmm. and then they are set free? Yes, it is there. We have, we have what we call prison decongestion. Mm -hmm. So each court mm -hmm. has has what we call court user. Committee, committees, which meet on a quarterly basis. One of the members of the court users committee is a Kenya Prisons Service. Service. The chair is uh, the head of station for that particular court. Mm -hmm. So the ODPP is a member, the uh, prisons is a member, the National Police Service is a member. You know, the main justice uh, sector actors. Mm -hmm. We can co-opt even others, uh, the NGOs, you know. The, the religious uh, organizations. Now, depending on where the court is and the circumstances and the situations on the ground, we can even co-opt others, the business uh, community, for example. So now, the Kenya Prison Service, in one of the CUC meetings, one of the court users' committee meetings, they can come forth and say, we are grappling with the numbers at Nairobi Remand, for example. Mm -hmm. So how can we ensure that we decongest these prisons? So an exercise will be carried out. out. Now this is where the High Court comes in. Assuming somebody has been sentenced for an offense, say eight months, um, it's a, maybe, maybe a minor offense, um, eight months, he or she has served four months, for example, mm. four remaining. So now when, when, when we decide this person now needs to get out, a report has to be made by the probation in conjunction with the Kenya Prison Service. Because now they have seen this person has um, reformed mm. of good conduct, ETC. Now that exercise, this is where now the judge of the high court comes in. Because already the person has been sentenced by the lower court. Mm -hmm. So instead of him waiting until eight months are over, these four months he has served is sufficient. Watch out. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is one way. The other way is... In fact, we are even mandated to visit prisons regularly to see how the conditions are. And then now the Kenya Prison Service or the, 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 the various prisons facilities now will give us a list of the people who are qualified to be released mm. but has to be in conjunction with the probation and aftercare uh, department so that now they give us a report. The Kenya Prison Service also have to give us a report. Mm. Uh, should this person be released? Yes. And Under what terms? The terms are set. Now, other ways mm. are to rope in the ODPP. Plea bargaining. An offense like murder, for example, you can plea bargain to manslaughter. You didn't intend to kill, but somebody has lost his life. Mm. So instead of suffering the whole long process, we can plea again, plea guilty, and then you'll get a lesser sentence, uh, sentence say eight months, one year. We've seen that uh, happening. Mm. That reduces the long 
uh, sentence. On the other hand, I as an accused person can even negotiate with the city the complainant and mm -hmm. say, let's have this case settled mm. once and for all. Yeah. It's gotten out of the system. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot. And I'm really <laughs> glad that you're able to come in and have this conversation with us this morning.